Hello, so in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce uh, uh, the data analysis tool pack in Excel. So data analysis tool pack can actually be used to do some basic statistical analysis which you may be doing earlier in uh, tools like SAS or SPSS. Right? And the data set on which I'm going to demonstrate this on uh, is car sales. Uh, it's a very simple data set. Uh, it's got details about 158 cars. We've got variables like the manufacturer, model, sales numbers, and features of the car like uh, the engine size, horsepower, wheelbase, curb weight, fuel capacity, the mileage in miles per gallon, and the price of the car. For example, you're doing a very simple analysis. You want to check uh, the correlation between the price of the car and, let's say, the horsepower of the car. A very simple way to do this would be to calculate the correlation, right? And I'll show you how we typically do the correlation analysis between two variables in Excel. We use the Corel formula. So I put in price over here. And let's say I put in uh, the horsepower of the car over here, right? And I observe that the correlation between price and horsepower is about 0.83. So a very strong correlation, i.e. as the price rises, or rather as the horsepower rises, the price also shows an upward trend. Suppose I want to check uh, the correlation between price and mileage of the car. right? I can do another correlation analysis over here. So I'll put in Corel. I'll take in price of the car. I'll take in the mileage. right? And voila! We've got a negative correlation, 0.49. So it's uh, it's not a very strong correlation, but it's uh, mid, mid, about medium correlation, but it's negative. So, i.e., as the mileage of the car increases, the price goes down. Possibly because uh, small cars give a higher mileage and small cars tend to cost less. Right? So, we see an inverse relationship. Uh, let's see, I want to do a study between fuel capacity and, let's say, the horsepower. Right? I can do another correlation over here. Let's say I take in fuel capacity. Right? I take in the horsepower of the car. Let me just correct that formula over there. Yeah. And I see a positive correlation. Again, uh, it's not very strong, but it's fairly strong. About 0.5. Right? So, we see a positive relationship between fuel capacity and horsepower. I.e., larger the horsepower, more fuel capacity you need. Which makes sense because uh, the correlation between horsepower and miles per gallon should be negative and we can check that. So let's do another correlation analysis over here. Let's say I'm going to do horsepower with mileage and I expect a negative correlation but let's see how what we get. And strong negative correlation. right? So what now with what you see is that I've done a lot of correlation analysis. Now was this between price and horsepower or price and fuel capacity? miles per gallon of fuel capacity. So I've done a lot of correlation that gets a little confusing to figure out which variable with which variable without you know looking into the formula over here. Right? Now an easy way could would be to build a correlation matrix between every variable with every other variable. Now that requires running the correlation formula sigma n times that is n into n minus 1 divided by 2. That's a lot of formulas that you need to write. Is there a simpler way in Excel I can do the correlation analysis between each variable with every other variable? Right? So this is where we're going to introduce uh, the data analysis tool pack. Now building correlation matrices in uh, other tools like SPSS, etc. is fairly easy. But uh, in data in uh, Excel, we don't have a formula to do, th do that. Right? But we do have a data analysis tool pack. Right? Now, where is this data analysis tool pack? I don't see it in any of these uh, normal ribbons. Now, it's a, it's a little bit hidden. You know, what you have to do is you're going to find it. So, the procedure is click on File over here. Go to Options. Right? Click on Add-ins. It's an Excel add-in. Here's an, this is the option called Manage Excel Add-ins. Click on Go. And there we have hidden all the way over here the analysis tool pack. Click OK. Press OK. Right? What you'll see is in the data ribbon, the data analysis tool pack option will come over here. In Excel 2003, you'll see it in the tools menu once you run it. Right? Now I click on data analysis tool pack and what I see is uh, 
there are a lot of options over here. So the data analysis tool pack can actually do a lot of things. It can do ANOVAs, correlation, covariance, descriptive stats, even a histogram, moving averages, sampling, t-test, and even simple, you know, multiple regression analysis. And I'll show you each of these options in my other videos. In this video, I'm going to concentrate on building a simple correlation matrix. So I'll clicking on data analysis tool pack, I select correlation over here. Press OK. Right? It asks for an input range. Right? I select the input range. I say I want to do the correlation of these variables with each other. I select all of them in one go. Right? Again, click on this button. The full selection has been entered into the formula or into the uh, the box automatically. Right? So if you see that I've selected from the first row onwards, and the first row is actually names it's not the values so i say that labels in the first row right in the output option options it asks me where do you want to publish the results right you can select an output range by yourself you can select let's say put it into a new sheet or put it into a new workbook i'm going to let it be on a new sheet i press ok and voila what it gives me is the correlation matrix i.e every variable with every other variable now each variable's correlation with itself is one and this part of the correlation matrix would be a mirror image of this part, so they've kept that empty, right? And I see I've got a correlation of every variable with itself. Let's say I want to check price. Price with engine size, well, I see a positive correlation. Price with horsepower, a positive correlation. Price with wheelbase, weak correlation. Width, positive but weak. Length, positive but very weak. Curve weight, positive high. Fuel cap capacity, positive high. And miles per gallon or mileage between price, small. As expected, right? Again, engine size with all the other variables, and I see the bigger the engine size, right? The smaller is the uh, fuel capacity, and a very strong negative correlation over here, right? One easy way of figuring out strong relationships is that you can put some kind of conditional formatting on top of it to quickly, you know, uh, give out results. For for example, this is a small correlation matrix. You can manually parse through it and figure out, you know, where the strong relationships are. But in cases you've got 20 or 30 variables that you've done in one go, you may want to just pop out the you know strong correlation. So what we can do is we can do something known as conditional formatting over here. I'll go into the home tab, click on conditional formatting, highlight cells rules. I say greater than, let's say I put my cutoff as 0 0.6. Right? Now conditional formatting again it pops out everything which is greater than 0 0.6. And also since negative correlation is also strong, let's say I'm going to put it again the same greater than minus 0 0.6 so let me put in minus 0 0.6 over here right let me just first select the full selection over here right conditional formatting again less than minus 0 0.6 right i see a lot of strong correlations over here and if you see anything layer which is between 0 0.6 and minus 0 0.6 doesn't get registered as a strong correlation over here right and you may want to remove one so let's say conditional formatting high side cells equal to let's say one i don't want to highlight that at all custom format let's say i don't want any fill no color right all right it's gone so you see these are the variables on which there is a strong relationship existing right and that was a simple correlation matrix uh, using the excel analysis tool pack uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, uh, please subscribe to my videos to get all the other updates. I will be building and uploading videos for all of these options that you see over here. Alright. And if you have any queries, just let me know. Thank you.